And there you go, guys. 18 minutes to go in Q1 here on this Friday, qualifying here at the Italian Grand Prix. And hopefully we get, we are in, rather, for a very exciting, close, and hopefully not traffic-filled qualifying session at Monster. Because, of course, the last couple Italian Grand Prix, we've had plenty of issues with traffic. And it is always an issue with people trying to get a tow. But hopefully not this, uh, not in this session. And hopefully we get some interesting surprises out there, which I think we could definitely get. With about three minutes to go in Q1, in the drop zone, desperately needing to get out is the two Williamses of Latifi and Russell, the two horses of Schumacher and Mazepin, and Robert Kubica. And we'll see on this lap whether Russell can get himself out of 17th place. Latifi has got himself out, and so has Russell. So, Russell is up to P11 in the Williams, and Latifi is now up to 13th. I feel as though with Latifi, though, that lap time might not be good enough for him to get into... Q2. So currently now in the drop zone with two minutes left pretty much is Sebastian Vettel, Esteban Ocon, Schumacher, Mazepin and Kubica. And Vettel has got away for the start of his last flying lap in Q1 and thankfully has a bit of a toe ahead uh, but it's not enough to hold him up through the corners. So Sebastian Vettel should be fine. As Vettel now exits the first chicane. He looked pretty fine, I have to say, through that first chicane. And we'll see what his first sector time is like compared to Yuki Sonoda. And it is a James Bond of a second slower than Sonoda uh, through the first sector. So he is pretty much bang on with Sonoda through there. And Vettel now through... Turn 7, which of course is the second Lesmo. Now on the second DRS straight towards the beginning of the Ascari chicane. And turn 9. Or turn 8, sorry. He's now three tenths of a second quicker than Sonoda. So this should be, and now with a bit more of a toe ahead, this should be absolutely good enough now that the session and the checkered flag has come out. So the session is over, but these laps can be completed. And Vettel now rounds the final corner as Perez improves to 7th place. Sebastian Vettel goes up into 8th. Sebastian Vettel is through and so is... No, not at the moment. I, was, I thought Ocon was also up there. And now he is Ocon up to 11th. So Latifi is out as Kubica has just gone up to 18th place. So And Sonoda is now up to 14th. So now we have, as Norris goes third, it's the entire order is just going absolutely mental right now. And uh, let me just update the rest of the order as, oh, Sonoda has had his time deleted. So Russell has made it through. Russell is back through. So Sonoda will start in 17th. Russell ended up 15th and only made it through by three hundredths of a second, I believe. But guys, at the end of Q1, knocked out in a very mental end to the session here in Q1. Nicholas Latifi, very disappointingly, Yuki Sonoda out in 17th place. Considering how good AlphaTauri have been uh, so far this weekend, that is very disappointing. And also uh, had his time deleted, which is what put him back into the drop zone, saving Russell's bacon there. And then 18th, Mick Schumacher. 19th, Robert Kubica. And 20th, Nikita Mazepin. So those are the drivers knocked out at the end of Q1. 11 being, uh, of course, the exit of Parabolica. But yeah, the Q2 session is now underway. And given how close things were on lap time in Q1, and generally at Monza, we know it's so close, especially to make it into the top 10. I think we really could see some big names in this session full foul of cutoff zone. As now the tyre covers come off Valtteri Bottas's car and Bottas is back out on track and so will be uh, Lewis Hamilton. There you go, right behind him. So 
Three and a half minutes to go in the drop zone, desperately needing to escape. Is Esteban Ocon, Sebastian Vettel, Carlos Sainz, George Russell and Fernando Alonso. Alonso, though, again, has not set a lap time as everyone now piling onto the track. And this is where it gonna get, it's going to get messy. Three minutes to go, meaning three minutes, or now, you know, even less, two minutes and 52 seconds to go to start your lap. So you don't want to go too slow, but you don't want to go too fast because you do want to get a toe from someone. As Ocon, currently, after two sectors, a tenth and a half up in terms of getting into the next part of qualifying. Bottas finishes in second. Giovinazzi improves his final sector, but does not improve his lap time. Perez only goes P8. Verstappen goes up to third. And Alonso up to P10 there. Alonso up to 10th. Ocon only goes 11th, so he's out. Sebastian Vettel, though, is up to P9 at the moment. Carlos Sainz now is up into 8th place. And who else have we got? Charles Leclerc in 14th and Russell in 15th. Here comes Russell to the line. And Russell stays in 15th. Charles Leclerc has got himself out in 14th place. So Charles Leclerc is up to ninth. Both Ferraris get into as Lando Norris goes third. And only a tenth behind the two Mercedes, even though the two Mercedes did not improve their lap times at the end there. But Charles Leclerc into Q3. Uh, yeah, into Q3. Most importantly for the home fans, both Ferraris are into the top 10. And also the home driver, Antonio Giovinazzi. What a story for the home crowd. Brilliant for them. But knocked out at the end of Q2. Two Aston Martins of uh, Sebastian Vettel and Lance Stroll. That is a very disappointing result. And then 13th and 14th, the two Alpines of Alonso and Ocon. They will be disappointed with that. And then in 15th is Russell, who cannot provide us with any spectacular antics on a Saturday. But that is who is knocked out in Q2. Vettel, Stroll, Alonso, Ocon. And Russell throughout the midfield as Q3 has now started and we'll see whether Mercedes can maintain their speed or whether Red Bull can finally show some pace. But what we've seen so far, don't think they can. So I think McLaren could be in for a very good result here if Red Bull cannot get their act together. As Hamilton does a purple middle sector, so Lewis Hamilton looking very good here. We'll see what Max Verstappen's middle sector is. And Max Verstappen has done a purple middle sector. So Red Bull might just have the speed here as Valtteri Bottas goes, of course, into P1. Lewis Hamilton, though, will go P1 on a 119.9. Gasly goes up to third. Max Verstappen about to come to the line. And Verstappen goes second. He is almost two hundredths of a second slower than Lewis Hamilton. So at the moment, it is advantage Lewis Hamilton. But Verstappen, absolutely on that lap, got the best out of his car and was very, very close there for pole position. Also very close. Lando Norris in third place. Only half a tenth or just over half a tenth off pole position. Brilliant lap there for Norris. And of course, I'll now update the order. So Hamilton is currently on pole position. Max Verstappen is second. Norris third. Ricardo fourth. So McLaren is still in a great position here. Bottas had a poor lap, as we saw. I think Valtteri's probably got at least a quarter of a second to find that I think he could definitely find there. Saying that, Norris's time was pretty good. So I think... Bottas might struggle to get on the front row there. As now, Sergio Perez rounds the Parabolica. And now Max Verstappen goes into the Parabolica. And here we go. The final run in Q3. Let's see if Red Bull can get pole position from Mercedes when it was looking so ominous from Mercedes. As Max Verstappen now heads down to turn one. As Gasly also starts his lap. So does Carlos Sainz. And the home driver, Giovinazzi. Verstappen comes through the first chicane. All good. Now stays to the inside through the kink 
all the way up to the second chicane. And Verstappen has not improved his first sector. But like I've said, the first sector, not the most important. As he now comes into Lesmo 1. And runs a slight bit wide, but not to the point where he would have lost time. And neither to the point in Lesmo 2. Using all of the track is Max Verstappen. Now on the run down to the Ascari chicane. And Max is still not improving on these sectors as Pierre Gasly does a purple middle sector. Stunning pace from the Alpha Tauri driver in the background. He's just behind Max Verstappen is Gasly. And now they all come to the line. So Sergio Perez will be the first to come to the line. And Perez only goes up to eighth. Max Verstappen stays second. Pierre Gasly comes to the line, only goes P5. Probably feels he could have done better there. As Valtteri Bottas has done two purple sectors. Carlos Sainz up to 7th. Giovinazzi stays 10th. That's still okay for him. So now we wait to see. As Leclerc is 8th. We wait to see what. As Ricardo goes 3rd. What Hamilton, Bottas and Norris can do. Bottas to the line. And he goes on to pole position. With a 119.5. Valtteri Bottas on pole. Hamilton is second and Lando Norris comes to the line and is only in P4. So Lando Norris not quite delivering at the end there, but still very good effort from McLaren, fourth and fifth. But Valtteri Bottas gets his first pole position since Portimao back in May, I believe, or April when that Grand Prix was. It is a Mercedes front row and ultimately when it mattered most, Red Bull were nowhere near the two Silver Arrows who have dominated this session. And the flying Finn, Valtteri Bottas, is on pole position. From Lewis Hamilton second, then Max Verstappen third, Norris fourth, Ricardo fifth, Gasly sixth, Sainz in seventh, Leclerc eighth, Perez ninth, and Giovinazzi in tenth. Knockdown Q2, Vettel, Stroll, Alonso, Ocon, and Russell. And knockdown Q1, the TP Sonoda, Schumacher, Kubica, and Mazepin. That is your starting grid for the sprint qualifying race. We'll see what the sprint qualifying race does to the grid. But that is what is, for me, the real qualifying session here at Monza. And hopefully it's not too much different from the grid for Sunday.